Okay, Shelby, this is not a fun assignment. I'm sorry in advance. Um, you only have four. I'm going to do four examples, and then you have four problems. So what we're doing is we're solve, finding the two answers for X. But today there's three terms. But unfortunately today you need to look for a GCF because there's going to be one. Okay, so GCF. Then after I pull out my GCF, I'm going to run my T test. Okay, so split that in half and put a T. And then the bottom half is for me to construct my parentheses. Okay, so the greatest common factor, do you have a negative in front? No. Do you have X on every number? No. And 9 your smallest, so 9. So factors of 9, I've got 1 and 9. 9 divided by 2 is a decimal, okay? And 9 divided by 3 is 3, so 3, 3. Okay, I got twin factors of 3, so I'm done making my list, but now I need to see if we can divide these three things by anything there. 9 divided by 9 is 1, 66 divided by 9 is a decimal, and then 21 divided by 9 is 3, okay? 9 divided by 3, 66 divided by 3, and 21 divided by 3, okay? All right, 3 is the winner, okay? So 3 takes the cake. So I just put 3, but not 3x. So now I go divide all these by 3. Okay, so that's going to be 3x to the second minus 22x plus 7. Now, after you write that, you should cross that out because now here's my new a, b, and c. Okay, so I take 3 times 7, and that's positive 21, okay? So again, A times C, and then 3 and 7, and that's 21, okay? Positive. So it's positive, so we're looking for a sum, which means we add, and I want that to equal 22 when I add. So 21 divided by 1 is 22, so that 21, 2 plus 1 is 23, or sorry, the 1 and 21. That does make 22. 21 divided by 1 is 21. 21 plus 1 is 22. Okay, now you need to put what your A equals. A, because now that you know sometimes it can equal different things, you got to look at what it does equal, and it does equal 3. Okay. So since my A is not a 1, I need four parentheses, and I need to lead with the 3. Okay, X to the second is X and X, and then 1 and 21. Okay, so my B is minus, so I got to have minus 21, and, different, and some means they have to be the same, okay? So that'll be minus as well. And the smaller factor here is a 1. So 3x minus 1, I just keep the same. And then 3 and 21. So let's look at 3. So 1 and 3. 3 divided by 2 is a decimal. So that takes me back to 3. So now let's see, check 3 out. So 3 divided by 3 is 1. And 21 divided by 3 is 7. Okay, so 3 works. Okay, now, some of you watching this video are going to be like, well, what the heck, 3x times 1x, how is that 9x squared? Yeah, but you got to understand, I've already factored a 3 out, okay? Now, I know 3x times 1x is 3x squared, but then if you times it by 3, it takes you back to 9x squared. And the same with the negative 1 times negative 7. I mean, I know that's 7, but it's really had been multiplied by 3, which would be 21. But that's really not that important when you're solving this. So 3x minus 1 equals 0. 1x minus 7 equals 0. So I plus 1 plus 1. 3x equals 1. Divide by 3. And then 1 divided by 3 is 0 0.3 repeating. 
Okay, and then next one, plus 7, plus 7, 1x equals 7. So those are my two answers that for x, two pieces of the puzzle that we're missing I now have. Okay, it's like a puzzle. That's what an equation is, like a puzzle. You have an unknown, you're solving for it. Okay, with the three terms, I need to, again, start looking for, actually looking for GCFs and then making my T. And then this is to construct my parentheses. So A, GCF. You have a negative in front? No. Do you have X on everything? No. You do have 4 as your smallest coefficient. So 1 and 4, and then 2 and 2, and then it's twins, okay? So can I divide all these by 4? No, not even close. Okay, how about 2? 3, 5, and 2. So 2 works, okay? Okay, so we factor out the 2. Now we go divide by 2. So it's going to be 3x to the second minus 5x minus 2. Now, right now, we need to get rid of this stuff because that stuff's no longer important because here's where I can do the AB, run the AB test, C test from. So 3 times negative 2 is negative 6, and I'm looking for a difference that would equal 5 because, okay, sorry, I went too fast. A times C, so 3 times negative 2 is negative 6, okay? So it's negative, so you're looking for a difference of 5. Okay, 1 and 6, so I, difference means I'm minusing. So 6 minus 1 is 5, okay? That's exactly what I want it to be, so we're good there. Now, what does the A equal? The A equals um, 3. So again, like on the last problem, we'll be making four parentheses, and I'll be leading with my 3 x squared, x, x, and then 1, 6. Okay, so we got minus 5, so I got minus 6 for sure, and then difference means it's plus. Okay, you don't have to reduce that down. You do have, you can divide that, and we'll see, 1 and 3. 3 divided by 2 is a decimal, and 3. 1 and 2, so 3 works, okay? 1x minus 2, okay? All right, once again, 3x times 1x is 3x squared, and then times that 2 that I pulled out, 6x squared, okay? But this is what I want to use to solve. So 3x plus 1 equals 0, 1x minus 2 equals 0. So I minus 1 minus 1, I get negative 1, and then I divide by 3. And negative 1 divided by 3 is negative 0 0.3 repeating again. That's not always going to be one of the answers. It just so happens that so far that's what we've got. Two answers, okay. Okay, so GCF, and then my T table. So GCF, do you have a negative in front? Nope. Do you got X on everything? Nope. 8, 1, 8, 8 divided by 2 is 4. 8 divided by 3 decimal, and then I'm back to 4. Okay, so let's check out 8, see what we can, if we can do that. Nope. Nope. So 4, okay. 2, 17, 4. So 2, 17, 21, 21, 21. Okay, so 4 is the winner, so 4. Okay, so that's 4x to the second, and that's 34, or wait a second, what the heck, I'm dividing, 4. So that's 2, 
2 x a second. 68 divided by 4 is 17 x, and 84 divided by 4 is 21. Okay, so we no longer have a use for this because this is the new ABC. Okay, so 2 times positive 21. Okay, so A times C. So I've got 2 times 21, and that's 42, and that's positive. Okay. So we'll look for a sum on this problem here, and I want that sum to equal 17. Okay, so 1 and 42. Sum means you're going to add, by the way. Okay, that's 43. That's not 17. 2 and 21. 2 plus 21 is not 17. 3 and 14. Okay, 3 plus 14 is 17, so that works. Okay, now what is my A equal? The A equals 2. So I need four parentheses, and this time I lead off the first set with a 2 in each one. Okay, so X, X, and then 3 and 14. So we got plus 17, so we got plus 14, and a sum means the signs are the same, okay? Okay, so 2 and 3, let's talk about 2 second, 1 and 2, okay, that's all you have. Can we divide them? We know we can divide 2 by 2, but can we divide 3 by 2? Nope. So that's going to stay 2x plus 3. Okay, 2 and 14. So again, 2 would be 1 and 2. I don't need a new list. So let's look at 2, 1, and 7. Okay, so 2. Okay, so 2x plus 3 equals 0, or 1x plus 7 could equal 0. So I minus 3, minus 3, 2x equals negative 3, divide by 2. Then I take negative 3 divided by 2, and that's negative 1.5. So there's my first answer. Minus 7, minus 7, I get negative 7. Okay, now the last one, but it's not a fun one because my smallest number is actually a pretty big number. Um, again, you got a trinomial three terms, so if you count three the new way, anytime we factor three is we're going to look for a GCF from this point on, and then we got to run my T test. What am I doing? Okay, so GCF. Do you have a negative in front? No. Do you have X on everything? No. Well, 24 is my smallest number. So I've got 1 and 24. Okay, 2 and 12. Three and eight. Four and six. And five's a decimal, and then we come back to six. Okay, so let's talk about 24 first. That's the one we should test first. One, four, hopefully 90. Now, man, okay. 12. Yep. Yep. Um, no. Okay, how about eight? Nope. Nope. Darn it. Okay. Six. Okay, when I said nope, I meant yes. Okay, it's been a long day. Four. Okay, boom, finally found it, 6, okay. So 6, and then I divide all these by 6. So I get 4x to the second 
plus 16x plus 15. Again, I emphasize you, after you fill that out, you should scribble that out because now you have a new ABC because otherwise you get confused about it. Okay, so I take A times C. That's going to be 4 times 15, and that's 60. It's positive, so I need a sum that equals 16. No. 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 No, it's not 16. Okay, if you run out of room, just go. So 5 and 12. But 5 plus 12 is not 16. It is close, but 17. So now I keep dividing. 60 by 6, I get 10. Now I think 10 plus 6 is 16, so that's what I use. Now what is my A equal here? The A equals 4. So I need four parentheses, two sets, okay? I'm going to lead off the first set, each with four, okay? And then four and 15, okay? So we got plus 16, so that our four and 10, what the heck? It's six and 10, darn it. Six, 10, okay? Darn it. Okay. I'm stupid. Okay. Nobody's stupid but me. Okay, again, two sets. So A is four, so four and four, X, X, and then six and ten. Okay. So I have plus 16, so you got plus 10 for sure, and a sum means the signs have to be the same, okay? So let's look at four. Factors of four, I've got one four and then double twos. So let's see if we can divide by four. No, four is not going to work. Now let's try two. Two works, okay? So I divide by two. And 2x plus 3. Okay, all right. And then 4 again is your smallest, so we'll use the same list of factors. So let's see if 10 divides by 4. No. 2, 3, 5. Okay, so 2 works. Okay, so 2x plus 3 equals 0, and 2x plus 5 equals 0. Negative 3 divided by 2 is negative 1.5. by 2, okay, my um, teaching here wasn't very good, I mean the method is the one I want you to use, but I was making a lot of mistakes having to correct it, so just let me know how it goes.